Welcome, this is Porter Nielsen with Random Artech, and in this tutorial we're going to be taking this box and actually adding an armature, as you can see right here, a concave one, that if you animate, will actually animate. Check this out. Wow! <laughs> awesome! And so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. It's going to be very short and very to the point. But before I start, I want to go ahead and make an announcement about my Patreon because that's how I make these tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. There's a lot of different features added to my different supporters. But if you have a buck and you would just like to see this channel grow, feel free to go ahead and be a patron on my, my Patreon. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So we want a box collider on this as we animate it. So there's a couple of different things you could do. You could go ahead and select the box itself, hit add component, and then do a box collider like such. But then what you'd have to do is you'd have to go ahead and scale the different sizes to try and fit the top. Um, go ahead and try and make it the right size. And it would be quite difficult to do this. Now, Unity does have some benefits like this. You can just grab the faces like such. And it's doable. But the problem is it's no longer, it's not going to be a convex shell. It's just going to be this box. And we don't want that. We want a convex shell. So you could work around this, do a lot of different colliders and add them together. But the faster, easier way, let's go ahead and delete this, is to go ahead and go to Blender and just add a new mesh for the top and bottom collider. So make sure that the thing is centered with Shift S, cursor to center, and then Shift A, go ahead and add a cube. Tab and hit Z. I'm going to go to vertice selection mode like this. I'm just going to scale it so it's the right length, width and girth. <laughs> What's girth? All right. I'm, I totally used the word girth wrong. I just think it's a funny word. Okay. So I just scaled it like that. Scale it this way a little bit more. If it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world, but like that's good enough. Then what I'm going to go, go ahead and do is select this bottom face here, and you can see the lip right there. So I'm going to hit I for inset, scale it till it's right there, hit E for extrude and move it up, and there you go, you have a collider. So I'm going to go ahead and name this box top collider. Shift E to duplicate, tab in, rotate this thing 180 degrees, move it down along the Z axis, I think that is, and then just select these vertices right here and just move those up. And now we're good to go. And now we have box colliders. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything at this point. Hit File, Export, .fbx, like we did last tutorial. Select Objects, Experimental, Box C, Export. And now as I go back into Unity, you'll see that this updates. Or it should have updated. I guess not. Let me go ahead and drag and drop this thing. And you'll see that there is still the strong box underneath. Maybe the material's not added to it. There we go. But there's also this top and bottom collider. But these aren't colliders. They're just meshes, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go Add Component, Mesh, Collider, and Turn Off Mesh Renderer. Now do the same thing for the bottom. Add Mesh Collider, Turn Off Mesh Renderer, and now it's a collider. The problem is, if I animate this, so Armature, Top Bone, like such, you can see that the, the collider itself did not animate. So you actually have to attach the collider, so Box Top Collider, to the top there. Yep. And I didn't name this bottom on accident, but this is the bottom one. Go ahead and attach that to the bottom. And now we're good to go. If I go ahead and add an animator to this that I created, it was a very simple one. It's just, let me go ahead and show you that. It's just very simply entry into the open animation. <laughs> Nothing too impressive. Go ahead and watch what happens to this box. The collider right here, as it opens, it'll actually move. And there you go. How cool is that? And that's all it is. So if you were stuck with trying to get colliders to animate, you basically, you, you can make them in Blender and then bring them into Unity and then just make sure that you attach them to the different armatures uh, where they should go, right? And so that's it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like us, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. My schedule is freeing up, so expect a lot more tutorials and video game reviews and the like in the future. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.